welcome back everyone welcome <clears throat> this is an all day all day nwsl uh, live stream i know I, I just came off the second half of houston but we're gonna be all right but i'm gonna be watching washington versus kansas as well as uh, oil rain versus um orlando pride today and they're in quick succession back to back to back so that's good for once you know what i'm saying but yeah we're already kicked off here houston are leading two nil that's what i'm talking about houston you know what i'm saying that's what i'm talking about i think we're all live let's see. all right let's go let's go second half turn this off I see racing made some subs already halftime. All right. We're going to see what happens uh, for the second half of Houston. Okay, cool, cool. All right, let's go, let's go. I, Ebony Sovereign and Dalkun came on for racing. Very interesting. I talked about them in the first half. I didn't know why they weren't stating, but maybe they were listening to me. They're like, yeah, Anita, you're probably right. Yeah, you're right. That's why y'all losing 2-0, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, your girl, you know what I'm saying? We, we know. We know. We know what players work and what players don't. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's see. Got the Twitch chat on, of course. Um, still recovering from the last match I just watched, so. But I like that Houston's up. 2-0 goal. 2-0 lead still isn't doing it for me. I still need three more, Houston. I'm sorry. Because City just underperformed. Um, I might need y'all to put five goals in today. And then uh, hopefully, um, I mean, fuck, if Kansas can take points from Washington, that'd be incredible. If, if, even if uh, Adi Ado, Oil Rain, and, and, and Orlando should be very interesting. I feel like it's going to be the same intensity like um, Wash, like, um, like, uh, Portland and, uh, Portland, Chicago. There you go. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. But goals from Vasali and Christy Mewis in the first half to have Houston up. Um, so I'm good. Good job, ladies. Good job, ladies. Really happy. Coming off strong after the Tigress win. 5-1. So I'm really happy that you're doing well. You got to win out. Win out. You got to win out. Win all the matches. You, got, you have 18 points. Uh, Wait. Oh, there's six games left. Yeah, yep. I think three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Houston, you have eighteen points on the on the table. You need all. You need them all. You need the all. Need all eighteen points. So keep a clean sheet, and let's see what y'all can do. Got my magic wand. So, CC Kaiser, you need to be watching for CC Kaiser for sure. She's a great player. She's been putting in goals as well. Superwoman Jane. Let's go. Hopefully she'll be uh, USA's starting goalkeeper eventually. Hopefully within a year or two. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. That'd be dope if she's able to... Uh, be the starting goalkeeper for the World Cup. I fucking love it. But a lot of people say she's not, but y'all are just haters. But, um, uh, she 
she's still young too. I think she's like 25 or something like that, maybe 26. Uh, it looks, I mean, from this side of the, uh, from the stadium, the stadium, um, I like Lynn Williams. I like Lynn Stadium. It's really dope. It's really nice. Um, and racing, racing beat. Oh yeah, that's right. We talked about racing beat Byron here. Um, their first ever title. Um, so that's pretty good when you're when you're like oh yeah because this is racing's first year like in the making that oh, the fuck houston never won their first title in their first year of existence where they do that at <laughs> where they do that at you know what i'm saying where does that happen how does that happen huh? all right Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. So I already uh, took that off. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And um, shit. Now it makes me miss Doll Camper back there for City. Fucking a. I need to, uh, I was going to do this. Let me do this. Uh, what were they playing? Racing, that's right. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, cool, cool. Fifty-four minutes here. All right, let's see Houston. Come on. Now I I wasn't really able to see the goals. Uh, what the fuck? That was weird. Uh, but Prince has been created. Uh, Vasali, and of course Mewis. Last goal starting. Ooh, big shot, big shot. Got to be a little more accurate right there. 
little more, some more accuracy. A little more accuracy. It looks like a nice day out there in uh, Turkey. Uh, sun's out. People are people are already asking how many rounds to the playoffs. Six matches, about five to six matches. Someone said, What are the playoffs? Oh. I guess what do you call them? Like um, I don't know. I was when I was watching the um, some of the interviews um, with the Bayern Munich. Um, the on the attacking third, they had uh, they interviewed Jakobsen. And what was her name? I forgot the other name. Her other name. Um, but they both played for Bayern, and so I was surprised that Jakobsen left Real. She 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 decided to come to Germany. Um. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, they were apparently apparently Bayern, Bayern Munich has a big fan base. Like uh, people know about them in America. I mean, I, I really don't, but uh, they're really good at FIFA on the FIFA game. But um, <laughs> um, when she had said uh, the stadiums, they didn't know how to, like, she was like, yeah, they were like, fool, is that the right word? I was like, oh, shit, what's another word for fool in, in German? And I was very, it was just something that I noticed. But I didn't watch the whole interview. It's just, you know, I kind of, like, skipped through bits and pieces of them. They're very interesting players to listen to. Um, very, because, you know, I know they're a strong, I know they're astrology. It was a Sagittarius and an Aries, so they were both fire. Um... And so it was very interesting to listen to them speak and how they speak. Um, so that's so something that interests me. Uh, and you know, me, me being a Gemini, um, <laughs> uh, as much as I love to collect information as well as I love to share it. So, uh, you know, if you haven't noticed that now, Slip. But uh, yeah, um, I'm I'm continuing to learn some more about my astrology, and so the Fernando, the guy that I would be listening to, he says, of course, um, the astrology. That's why I was like, cause I'm very, I'm very, I'm say I'm psychic, I'm very psychic, very, I'm very intuitive. Um, and he was talking about how like, um. The birth chart, you know, of course you need to be able to, you need to have a find astrologer to do the birth chart so you could master the matrix. Um, but not until like you're like 27 and up because then you'll have the experiences or you'll have things to refer back to. So if you do it younger, it can really fuck you up because it's really deep. It's, it's, it's your life. <laughs> and so astrology is life. And so I was like, damn. So I had to like lay off a little bit. Um, because I, I could tell, like, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was getting, I, I get deep, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not playing no games. I get really deep when it comes to the information that I share with you all about my personal life and then about the things that I'm becoming aware of. And nothing's new under the sun, which is really fucking crazy. But all this information, I mean, either you've, you, we just forgot, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's new under the sun, like, literally. Now, have we been lied to? Yes. Has, has information been manipulated? Yes. But this is new, which is fucked up to realize. It's fucked up to acknowledge. And you're like, what the? And so, 
when you think about it, all the things that we have now, computer, technology, all that stuff, like it existed before. We're just living in a time right now where it's existed again. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, especially like when we think about the um, the Egyptian times and all the hieroglyphics and all the things that they created, um, you know, we know that they had a plane and we know that they had a lot of other things um, that we still can't do now. Like I was looking up to the Ankh, you know, the Ankh that I wear. Like they were using the um to like power electricity and do other things. We can't even do that right now based upon all of our resources that we have. And um, just a lot of things when it comes to like um, things of the universe and things of our solar systems. And um, it's very just magical. We live in a magical place, but it, it's a tough place where we got magicians that do evil spells on people. And... Uh, you know, and we have people that, you know, we try to do magic on ourselves, but when you're in a, when you're in a body and you're a spiritual being, you're limited to a lot of things, you know? And, uh, but I think it's, I still, I'm just so grateful to know this, you know, especially at my age, uh, you know, and I think about my journey, like when I get old, like as I continue to get older or, and it's just, it's, it's quite incredible, the fact that, like I said, we're immortal, and we'll never die. And like, and so we'll continue to have experiences with meeting people in different shapes and forms. Like, maybe our next time we meet each other, it won't be in a human body, maybe in a different type of body, you know? And I'll have a different personality. I'll have a different, um, I guess, vibe. And I think your soul is just... Your soul is your, is your Akashic record. Your soul is your Akashic records. And it comes to it. Just think about like how much stuff, how, how much, how old do you think you are? You know what I'm saying? How old do you think you are? Like, and I mean, thinking like, damn, I'm old. Like, real shit. <laughs> and um, I'd be like, damn, I'm really old. Like, I'm really old. And this young body, I have a lot of wisdom and I'm still learning because I, I don't know everything. What the fuck? The fact that we don't even know everything about this universe is fucking mind-blowing. You know what I'm saying? How long has the universe been in existence? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And and I'm just, I be thinking, I be like, isn't it incredible to know that? Like, and it's kind of scary because it's like, the fact that I'm learning that, um, you know, of course, real, um, worlds have been destroyed and built and built. And, um, it's, uh, it's quite amazing. Like, it's just quite amazing what civilizations have, have been on planet Earth and have built. And before even, who said Earth is called Earth? It could have been, they could have called Earth something totally different. We just call it Earth now, Tiamat, Gaia, you know? And, um... It's, uh, it's awesome. It's awesome to know. It's awesome to know. But then when the collective, when majority of people don't know this information, you can feel kind of like, um, like, um, you don't, like, you don't remember? Like, you don't know? I didn't know this until now, but, like, when a lot of people think this is weird or, like, information that's, like, because we're so, oh, my God, lost in appearances and lost in material, so lost in this illusion right and the illusion is nice there's a lot of things that we enjoy in the illusion right and there's a lot of things that we can't stand in this illusion and and then the fact that in this illusion we have fucking demons that are have dominion over it it's fucking crazy right um the fallen angels the fallen ones that um create disorder out of chaos you know, order out of chaos, you know, and always dividing us and mind fucking us. They love this shit. And then we have alien frequencies that come and fuck with us as well. You know what I'm saying? This is like, what the fuck? But, um, uh, what Fernando reminds me and it continues, because I'm like, I'm more like a, um, I feed, I, I, I feed. I'm more of like an inspirational person. Like the people that I happen to tune into, um, I like the I I very I'm very grateful for the inspiration because it's it's we're supposed to inspire each other to want to learn more about ourselves and, and evolve ourselves and um, 
And so that's what I'm really, really grateful for the teachers and mentors that I've come across. Um, they give you me the hard truth, which is deep and fucked up. It, it, the truth is ugly when you when you have the eyes to see and ears to hear. Um, but the truth is beautiful as well. But it's really ugly uh, right now, you know. Um, but there's beauty in the ugliness, right? Uh, but um, like on our way, when he he talk, you know, say, you know, I believe in God. I, I don't believe in their God, this demon. I don't believe in their God, Jehovah, or we call him Satan, Saturn. I don't believe in that nigga, but or that person, that being. I don't believe in that being, but this is his reality. This is his world. This is his illusion. You know what I'm saying? And you you could say he's a girl boy, but it's 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 a feminine energy. And when he was telling me about like, cause we followed the lunar cycles, the moon cycles, I was like, oh shit, she a bad bitch. And um, I was just thinking, I was like, damn. And because we're especially because right now we're living under the uh, patriarchal. Uh, I guess more mentality where the dudes think they're like they have dominion over everything there was a time where the women ruled like of course when we had like more queens and stuff like that I feel like that was a time where more women ruled and had more women had power and thank goodness this this patriarchal time is ending because they didn't I'm just when we look at, at that's why I look at these men I'm like listen guys listen y'all had a lot of power and authority and look what y'all done with it Look what y'all done. We would have never had did this shit, okay? We would at least had some equilibrium, but y'all been gone full blaze, no empathy, no moral standards. Y'all crazy. But I guess the women were probably crazy too. I think the women were probably more crazier in rulership, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> but uh, I'm a woman right now, so it'd be different if I was a dude. I'd be like, oh, these women did draw. Like, if I was a dude back in, you know, the time where the women were ruling, you know, in our matriarchal era, right? But we're in the patriarchal era where the men are in charge of fucking everything, which is fucking crazy. But anyways, that's why I'm like, guys, y'all are doing a shitty job. Look look at the job you're doing. Listen, don't don't tell, don't tell, blame us. Y'all fucked everything up. <laughs> Literally, y'all did. But anyways. We don't want to blame the boys. We're all teamwork made the dream work. We're all responsible for our fucked up planet and fucked up lifestyles. And, you know, not it's not, not all of this fucked up, but we're all responsible. We all played a, a role in, you know, uh, we all played a role. All right. We all played a role. Either we said something or we didn't. And we, either we were killed for it or we were praised for it. We either it depends on what you did, you know, and your soul how you are now is just remember reminding you what you've been doing so for me i feel like i always been saying something i feel i feel like i always been talking um because why am i talking now you know what i'm saying when I'm, why am i talking out against the things that are going on i guess i've always been doing this that's just my opinion you know that's just my opinion i feel like this is just what i've been doing because you know they say you you start off or you ended off and left they say you start off or you ended off in that's it. You start off like your next life, our next lives, however we end this life. We'll start off our next life, however we're in this life. So however I ended my last life is how I started off my first life. My in my in my in my getting in my life now. And so I was just thinking, you know, look at your life. Like you really examine your life. Like because you're unique. Like your soul is unique. You have a unique journey. And um that's great because isn't that awesome? Like, isn't that awesome to know that you're unique and um and divine, you know, and and a magical and creative and a god in a body? You know what I'm saying? And you're immortal. Isn't that fantastic? You know but then again, it's like you know when you do bad things to people, you don't think there's a hell for you. you remember, there's a saying. There's a saying called like there's a special place of hell for you. And I was uh, actually tuned into Arjuna. And um, she was going through like some of the um, the hells that people souls will have to experience if they do gruesome things. Um, uh, and I think about all these uh, quote unquote uh, beings that are here that um, they don't have souls. There's some entities, like I said, we know about. There's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of beings that are not human that are here on the planet with us, which people still yet to acknowledge. 
and that's because it's been hidden if they make movies about yeah there's this type of species there's this type of species there's this type type of species people will be like okay what type of species are you you know what i'm saying what the fuck you well, i never seen your kind before who are you are you a good type of species are you here to fuck me up you know what i'm saying and of course we got protectors that are here to protect us uh, in different realms um that protect earth you know so you gotta take care of earth you know what i'm saying um that are in charge but um the f oh yeah Fern there's a thing on fernando's uh, website it says there's no profit in empowerment there's no profit in empowerment and that made a lot of sense because if they empowered us on the knowledge of ourselves we would be self-sufficient but there's no profit in that and especially in america oh fuck no fuck no they need us to be slaves you know what i'm saying um and so it's fucked up oh my oh fuck you know so it's like we have to teach ourselves a lot of things and then uh hopefully we come across people that are very wise in in, in their teachings uh and we can learn from them and then also go within because you have knowledge within yourself that um that's just uncon that's unconscious um um that that you have within you that you've taken um, based upon your travels that you need to be sharing your soul's experience you know what i'm saying your experience hold on ah, nice goal i think that's katie Notton. let's go houston hey hey that's what i'm talking about two more houston Two more goals, and then I'll I'll for I'll forgive City. Two more goals. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look at this troll, y'all. Look at this troll. <laughs> oh, look at that troll. And we were just talking about people that, that, that have time to do this stuff. Look at this troll right here. <laughs> Who are you, mate? Who are you? Who, like, who are you? Like... Who has time to fucking type all that stuff and, 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 and go to someone's live and fucking comment that? Who has time to do that? Oh my goodness. Who has time? They have time. Because they have no lives. I mean, apparently. They have no lives, apparently. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, you treat them as children as such because most of the time they need a lecturing. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing I also think feel with um, people that do this. It's the Matrix, right? So, like, the Matrix has created robots out of people. And some people, I guess, are supposed to be robots in the Matrix. But I really hope that's, like, damn. I really hope that's not, like, what you want to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you really want to be a robot all your life? Like, someone that just follows orders and doesn't question anything and doesn't think for themselves but that gets you a long way because we see a lot of robots that have a lot of things you know what i'm saying we have uh, what do you call it clones as rappers we have clones as basketball players football like you know what i'm saying so i'm just like you know that shit can't get you far in this material world i guess i mean it's really nice to have materials and things that keep you self-sufficient survival is very important so i'd be like i guess i mean this is your path hey fuck more power to you i guess just don't come in my space bitch you'll die esoterically speaking you know what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I, I i i kill people over here esoterically speaking you know what i'm saying so I mean, it's f it's funny, um, but they're um the devil or Saturn or Satan, Jehovah, always is the art of confusion. They always want to confuse us and mislead us off our path. So the path is really straight and narrow, which is gets really tricky because you know I be looking outside, looking at all the people that I might want to interact with, 
I'm like, you know, you seem like a cool person. And I'm not perfect. And I thank goodness I'm not because, man, if I was all holy, 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 maybe that, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But luckily I'm not. Thank goodness I'm not all holy, holy. I just have a pure heart. I have pure intentions. My intentions are to help us wake up through sports. You know what I'm saying? I have, you know, I'm a witch, like I said. I have intentions to help humanity, help myself raise in consciousness. You know what I'm saying? And so there's people that don't want that to happen. Because remember, there's no profit in empowerment. And, um... You know, I'm learning a lot of keys to the streets, and I just want to remind you that the keys are here. You got to unlock the door to your own jail cell that they have us in, you know what I'm saying? And, and it gets tough. It gets tricky. It gets really tricky because people are, you know, new levels, new devils, but these devils ain't got shit on you. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they really can try all they want, but the devils, they really ain't got shit on you. We're too powerful. You know what I'm saying? And, and especially if you remain at an equilibrium, you remain humble, and you remember you're a powerful spirit, and you remember that, you know, God doesn't give you things you can't handle. It's a test. You just test your strength. It's a test, um, you know, how great are you? Like, who? what kind of God do you want to be, you know? And so, you know, I take that with great honor. I take that with great strength. I take everything that I have been through with you know, a lesson that I've had to learn. Some of them are not pretty. Some of the lessons that I've had to learn sucked. Real shit. But it was something that I got through. I overcame. I transcended it, right? That's what we have to do. Transcend our our lower desires, our lower, uh, the lower things that we say about ourselves. So therefore, we can be a reflection to others on how to do the same. And it takes a lot of work. I, I showed you my shadow book work. Like I said, I, I, wait, I waked in, in 2019, 2020 ish. So I still have a lot of things to um, work on within myself because I'm trying to be a better Anita than I was yesterday, right? And every day is 24 hours. And every day is, is a day that if the more we learn and the more we go out and experience life, um, the more fulfilling it becomes it starts to become um and whatever you do in your life is you you know what i'm saying fuck everyone else and their opinions fuck that shit if we don't have time to be worried about other people's fucking thoughts and feelings if they don't make you feel uplifted or or you know eh, you know they don't make you feel good about yourself fuck them you know what i'm saying what do i look like you know what do we look what do we have we don't have time for that anymore you want the knowledge. You want the knowledge that's going to be able to help you get out of situations. Speak it into existence. Real shit. Like, become... The life is in the tongue. The death is in the tongue as well. And so, especially now, when I start to meditate, I think about all the things that I want to to do. Right? Um, all the things that I want to do and want to experience. I want to learn more, of course, about how to become more... You know, independent of the matrix, of course. Uh, and so that's those are some intent. And of course, I want to help humanity raise in consciousness. Just, and I want to help myself. Um, and I want to enjoy football. You know what I mean? And I really, uh, because I have uh, my, my Mars is in my Mars is in Taurus. It's not in Aries anymore, so I'm not really on the battlefield like that. I'm more like I've been sent home. And like now I'm enjoying the luxuries of once being in the battlefield. Um, <clears throat> so I have to work on, you know, building things. I have to build, 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 build uh, in this lifetime. So, you know, uh, every, you know, there's a saying, right? They say um, things that are, are, I don't know, they're saying, you know, you know, there's so many things that things that are worth fighting for or worth maybe waiting for something like that. But um, our homes, our dream lives are not built overnight. They're not just magically, sometimes they are. Some people become overnight millionaires if they hit the lottery. Uh, I think I hit the lottery when I woke up, facts. The light bulb went on. I was like, oh shit, I'm awake. 
They're like, yeah, Nina. You see the 11 11s? You see the 2 2 2? You see the 3 3 3s? You see the 4 4 4s? The 5 5 5s? The 6 6 6? Six? The 7 7 7s? The 8 8 8s? And the 9 9 9s? Oh, yeah, you, you, you wake it up. You know what I'm saying? When I started to see all these things, I was like, hold up now. You know, it was incredible, right? It was incredible. Um, and um, I woke the fuck up. I woke up, woke up. And it's great to be awake. It's great to be awake and evolving um, because <clears throat> it's important. It's very important, especially uh, like for me being the only one that's uh, aware, uh, especially in my bloodline, especially in my the people that have come before me, you know, the things that the people have done before me in my history. Right. And then the things that collectively the people that look like me have done right in this matrix of system that we live in and this illusion right um we in, in in history we really didn't only see the black people as slaves or either gods like either they were the the queens and the pharaohs the gods and goddesses in egypt or slaves right so or moors or we and when they when the people the, the way they have presented us in the matrix um, either it's like we were good or we were victorious or we were the victims, right? And so, um, it's very interesting, you know, how they do that. But remember, I'm not, I'm not my color. I'm just, I'm spiritual. I'm a spiritual being having a severe experience. You know what I'm saying? I'm not my color. And, um, eventually we'll eventually wake up to that too. Uh, but... You know what I'm saying? That don't mean, you know, we, we see a lot of things that go on, especially when you do, especially because when I was learning Gematria, and I was showing y'all, they do a lot of sacrifices on people that look like me, like my brothers, like George Floyd was one of them. They sacrificed him. They sacrificed Benjamin Mindy. You know what I'm saying? They sacrificed all these brothers, Malcolm X, MLK. They tell us that they died. They, they get killed. And they kill their people too, people that look like them. But at the end of the day, um, you know, you know, they there's gotta be good guys and bad guys in every story, right? Not everyone was good that looked like me. They're still alive. But uh and not everyone that looked like me was bad either, right? Women and men. And and the same with you. Not everyone that looks like you is bad. And not everyone that um that looks like you is good. But we see certain patterns Oh, oh, let's go, Prince. Hey, four goals. Let's go. Hey, yes. One more goal, Houston. Come on, let's go. Prince with the goal. He said... Black, you live in America, in the United States. I suck it. Huh? I'm not, I'm, I'm confused on that sentence. You said black and you live in the United States. I suck it. I'm not too sure what you're trying to say. Can you like rephrase it a little bit? It's very dangerous being my color and living in America still. Luckily for me, being a woman, I'm a little I'm I'm a little more safe. Er a little more safer than the gentlemen, than the brothers. But you know <laughs> when one people suffer, we all suffer. And that's something we all have to remind ourselves. Even if white people suffer, which we know they're not white, and I'm, you know I'm not black. But when white people suffer, we all suffer too. It's the same thing. When Mexican people suffer, we suffer too. When the children suffer, fuck sakes, we all suffer. Goodness gracious, especially when the children suffer. Fuck. And the fact that we can't come together for the children's sake upsets me. Because the children are innocent. You know, they deserve freedom, you know. Um, they, the children deserve freedom. They deserve a, to have a better life than we've had. They deserve to know themselves and be able and have the tips and tools to be able to know themselves. 
uh, and not have things be hidden from them or lied to from to them like a lot of the things that we see on tv they don't acknowledge spirituality because they don't want us to to know ourselves um spirituality is your gateway to yourself is is the gateway to your individuality how will you know yourself if you don't have a spiritual awakening you know what i'm saying and some people you have to balance it and you can you can balance the material the spiritual all that stuff you can balance it you're fucking magic you're fucking magic we're magic we're gods you know what i'm saying so you can balance it you know what i'm saying you can balance it and 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 some people are just so insecure because of of all the things that uh, we've been taught and the reprogramming of our mind is is difficult and then you're you're having to be yourself which is scary people don't know how to be themselves because they look in the mirror like who am i you need to go within to find out who the fuck you are you know what i'm saying i don't know who the fuck you are some people say they can see what you could be um and I believe that too. Some people can see like wh how your life could like go. Nah, yeah, that too. But people don't know who you are. Hell, you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? You don't know me. But anyways, um, but um, all right. I'm happy Houston are leading. Come on, Houston, one more goal. Bam, one more goal. Houston on the up and up. Shout out to Houston. I was born in Houston. H Town, go big or go home. Go big or go home. You know what I'm saying? Go big or go home. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is tough uh, living in America when you're when you look like me but I, ch I it's a challenge and I um, I'm very grateful because um, <clears throat> to be I'm very grateful to know myself and to know that I'm not these things uh, and uh, I don't use it like uh, as a weapon because some people they you know and, it, and it's listen it, you can't I, I, I cannot not hate I cannot not, like not like people that look like me that want that em embody the high vibrational of what it is to be a black person in america you know and we're, we're talking just about the matrix but i'm not in the matrix you know what i'm saying i'm not in the world i'm of the world but i'm not in the world but not of the world right so but when like i said when people come in they come to my channel they they judge me based upon the way i look that's fucked up you shouldn't be judging people just the way i look you know what i'm saying Cause how I look don't mean shit. I can I see homeless people and they look and they're nicer people. They don't look well. They don't look well. But they're nicer people than you see people in these suits and ties and dresses and even not even in dresses, but like nice shit. Even the clothes that I'm wearing, a jersey. I've seen nicer people on the streets than people that I walk past in the gym. You know what I'm saying? We're we're nasty to each other. It's fucked up. But um we can we have to be better, right? We have to be better. We have to transcend the the negativity that um that is here on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Surround yourself with positive shit, some crystals and gems, some good vibes, things that you enjoy, because you can enjoy your life and um <clears throat> When I was thinking, because most of my life I've worked at fast food restaurants, so like I experienced so many types of people. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so I feel like like I'm I'm already I'm, a, I'm I mean if you've never worked a fast food job, I mean I don't even wish that on anybody because it sucks honestly. But you, most of the time, you don't have the people getting you don't you're not able to relate to people more and some people even when they go to five star restaurants the people the customers and the people that take their orders <clears throat> are two different people they're just it's a more high quality type of food it's a different type of environment you may meet some celebrities here and there i be looking at i was i was watching another video about um uh, it was like exposed something on Twitter. I'm um, not on Twitter on YouTube, and they're talking about some of these celebrities. They don't tip. I was like, y'all, y'all niggas don't tip. What the fuck? Y'all niggas don't tip. 
Y'all niggas don't tip. Y'all don't be tipping y'all's waiters when y'all go out to eat celebrities. Y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up. I tip. I tip. You know why? Because I used to be one of those people that needed the tips. You know what I'm saying? And these motherfuckers don't tip. The audacity. You, <laughs> there's a special place where you're going. And that's what people need to understand. You've got a lot of the, you have a, uh, these people that have a lot of financial, uh, fi a lot of money in this matrix. They're just, they're just even harder because they have a lot of funds that could change people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, with all that money that they have, we see how they are. They have, we have amazing people that have lots of money. And we have a lot of people that have lots of money that are evil. We have more evil. We have more good than evil. But the evil be overshadowing the goodness, right? And it's unfortunate because this realm is the realm of death. So. Oh, shit. I'm surprised she missed that. All right, two minutes left. Two minutes left. Clean sheet, Houston. Come on now. Clean sheet. Balcoon. But, um. Yeah, so I mean, you, I really, everyone's path, everyone's journey is different, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just be like, look, if I was in yo, I'm working towards to getting my i'm working towards getting the way you live you know what i'm saying and then i have big plans for myself big things to do that i would like to do with the resources that i accumulate you know what i'm saying let them be as examples let them be as examples the good and the bad we need to remember that it's the same side of the it's it's the same side of the same coin i mean sorry it's the two sides of the one coin you know what i mean You know what I'm saying? And so, um, I'm really happy for Houston. Good dub, good win. all right guys that's it for this stream i'll be right back um with washington spirit in kansas city okay oh yeah <laughs> 